Right now, I'll play a little clip. Well, I'll play several clips in a minute. Right now, Joe Biden, president of the United States of America, is abroad. And I realize people already are aware that he's not exactly the most with it president, putting it kindly. He's not exactly the most with it president we've ever had. But as we speak, as you're sitting there looking at me on the television, Joe Biden, president of the United States of America, is being assessed. He is being assessed in person by other world leaders. And you'll never know it. I'll never know it. But right about now, they're figuring things out. What can they get away with? What can't they get away with? Should they be scared of America? Welcoming of America? Should they mock America? When I say Joe Biden went overseas and embarrassed us, he did, and we're going to laugh about that, but also understand world-changing events take place because of person-to-person meetings. This guy met with this guy, met with this guy, and sized him up, thought he might just go ahead and Try something. This is the president of the United States of America in a climate change summit today. Remember when he fell asleep when he met with Israel's PM? He is a walking disaster. An absolute walking disaster. And to have the commander-in-chief not just be misguided on policy, but to be so physically and mentally unable to perform the job is a national security issue. It is. It is a national security issue that Joe Biden is not with it enough to do the job of president of the United States of America. It's a big deal. And of course, he spoke today about his climate change nuttery. And before I go to that, let me just let me just say something quickly here. Man-made climate change is not real. It's a complete myth. It is a myth that is backed by all kinds of crap science, oftentimes science that is funded by the governments who are gaining power by pushing climate change stuff. It's not real at all. And how wild is this? Think about this. All the leaders of the West are over there right now. Trudeau and the princes and everything, Biden, they're all over there right now figuring out ways to tackle man-made climate change. We have all kinds of real issues facing the West right now. Supply chains and inflation and housing. There's all kinds of these huge issues. And all the leaders of the West are currently gathered to figure out how to tackle the one that's completely made up. Isn't that the most apropos thing you've ever heard? What a clown world we live in now. Here's Joe Biden. He's going to tackle climate change. High energy prices only, only reinforce the urgent need to diversify, diversify sources, double down on clean energy development, and adapt promising new clean energy technologies so we can not only oh, oh, we don't remain overly reliant on one source of power to power our economies and our communities. That's the President of the United States of America in front of the world. Gosh, that sucks. And, and it's not like the world can't see. I actually saw a broadcast over the weekend. They were making fun of him in Australia. In Australia, the news reporters on camera are making fun of the president. Jeez, it's so embarrassing. And, and, and look, you think the world can't see Joe Biden having press conferences and reading his note cards for, for who he's supposed to call on? Uh, this one says, uh, uh, Julie, J- look at this embarrassment. And now I'm happy to take some questions, and I'm told I should start with AP Zeke Miller. Zeke, you have a question. <laughs> Didn't recognize you the mask on. Mask on. I apologize. He's so not with it, he can't even cover it up. <laughs> and I'm told, I love it. And I'm told, uh, uh, Zeke, Zeke Miller. <laughs> Jeez. This is a big deal. It's more than just funny fodder for TV, okay? It is a big deal that the President of the United States of America is not a functional adult. It's a really big deal. 
This man is making gigantic changes to the United States of America, not just foreign policy either. Remember, this, this vaccine mandate insanity is still going on across the country. That's Joe Biden. The person guiding the United States of America is not a functional adult. And, and on top of everything else, he doesn't love the country. He, just like every other Democrat does, had to go over there and apologize for us. And I, I guess I shouldn't apologize, but I do apologize for the fact the United States uh, in the last administration pulled out of the Paris Accords and put us sort of behind the eight ball a little bit. Don't apologize for me, Joe Biden. Don't apologize for me, especially not to Europeans. I'll tell you that much. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.